It's a wrap after a busy final day at the legislature. Both sides tonight are claiming the session was a success. News 13's Katie Kim is live to update us in Santa Fe. And legislators say they got the job done. From green lighting key jobs bills to abruptly stalling education reform measures, it came down to the last minute. We got some good things done. That includes passing a budget. For the first time in years, lawmakers were working with a surplus. The $5.6 billion spending plan for the budget year that begins in July restores funding to education and Medicaid and easily passed both chambers with bipartisan support. One way to look at an item and see how well it was worked through the system is look at the votes. There wasn't a single vote against that budget as it passed through the House. Lawmakers also passed a number of bills that will create jobs and spur the economy, including approving bonds for more than $100 million for local projects. Part of that package, $30 million for the city of Albuquerque to start redoing the I-25 Paseo interchange. Today, the governor praised lawmakers for including Paseo money in the bill, but she thinks lawmakers signed off on too many pork projects. We got $200,000 for a garden in Santa Fe, $25,000 for a garden in Albuquerque. Martinez vowed to look line by line with her veto pen in hand. But Martinez and the legislature did agree on a number of other jobs bills, including tax breaks for the construction and manufacturing industries and credits for businesses that hire veterans. A couple of victories for Martinez. I didn't get everything I wanted. Uh, for the people of New Mexico. Like her push to hold back kids who don't read well enough, the bill died for the third time. So did her push to repeal the law that gives driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. I'll be back for it every single time. Still, the governor and legislature say the session was a success. The people of New Mexico want to make sure that, first and foremost, that we did pass a budget. When you look at all of the things that we're supposed to do in a 30 day session, we got those done. A bill that would force corrupt public officials to forfeit their pensions also made it to the governor's desk. And three bills to reform the scandal-ridden PRC also made it out of the roundhouse and now head to the ballot in November. Diane? All right. Thank you, Katie. Back, and uh, we appreciate all your work up there. The governor says at first glance, she doesn't think that she'll need to veto the budget entirely, but she has until March 7th to take action on it and other bills that get to her desk. House Speaker Ben Lujan ended his long political career in New Mexico today by pounding the gavel at the roundhouse for the final time. At the beginning of this session, the 76-year-old House Speaker announced that he has advanced lung cancer and won't seek re-election. Lujan has served since 1975, became Speaker in 2000, but now he wants to focus on his family. Pray to God that he lends me additional time. I have a little granddaughter that's standing right at the door. She's a sophomore. I would love to see her, uh, and I, I would love to be at her um, graduation ceremonies. But the good Lord is the one that will determine that. Lujan thinks that his cancer may have been caused by his exposure to asbestos while he worked at Los Alamos National Lab.